Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next webinar in the Farm Uni series, where today we are going to dive into the topic of CVs, accelerating your career, and some hidden opportunities in the pharma industry that you may not be aware of. So today I am joined by Mr. Ali Reza Zarai, who is the CEO and founder of Zaman Pharma Support. And he is going to be our presenter today and give you some really great insights into how you get a step ahead um, in the world of applying for jobs in the pharma industry. So Ali, I'm going to take it over and head it over to you. Thank you very much. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. Okay, so um, I've prepared a small, nice uh, presentation for everybody to follow. And as usual in my webinars, I'm just on the flow, on the go. I'm more of a practical guy, so don't expect fancy animations, but expect some very, very valuable information. All right, so let's start. Getting a good job in pharma and medtech. Why uh, do we do this webinar? Because we are getting overrun by request of people in Europe, people in Germany, and people internationally trying to find a good job. And in most cases, it's not working, and they don't know why. And we said, okay, let's do a webinar about it to kick off and distribute some know-how in this regard to make people aware why it is or what they need to consider. Um, just quickly about us, um, Zaman Pharma Support is the mother company of Pharmony, basically. We are developing Pharmony, Pharmaging and other um, platforms as well. And uh, we are located in Germany, uh, in South Hessen. Um, we have a team of around 50 people and we do a lot of stuff. Um, why am I qualified to talk about this? Um, we have a lot of customers in Europe internationally and uh, it's always in pharma, sometimes in medtech. And uh, we have a lot of experience with job applications, career uh, development, CVs, not only because we receive a lot of C uh, applications ourselves, but also because when we want to get a new contract, very often we have to provide our CVs to other companies. And it's basically um, this application process is part of our core business, actually. So that's the reason why we are able to support you. Um, what is this or who uh, is targeted in this presentation? Uh, professionals, especially from Europe, especially from Germany. So if you are a guy or a, um, a woman working in the industry since five years, 10 years, 15 years, 30 years, this is for you. Professionals internationally that might want to come to Europe, um, this is also for you. You can um, definitely get some good uh, getaways here. And of course, for students and job starters from universities, international, in Germany, in Europe, doesn't matter. You will all face the same challenges but especially the non-European people have some extra challenges. Um, this presentation is also for you to help you. We will not solve all your problems. We will give you, however, a good feeling, hopefully, what matters and uh, what is important and whatnot. Okay, all right, let's move forward. So, first of all is um, grow a thick skin. Um, grow a thick skin means, uh, it's a German saying, somebody in Germany said that one day, I don't know who, um, be ready to get criticism, to receive criticism and to um, be willing to change. Uh, just because you have great grades in the university doesn't mean that people or companies will try to hire you. Just because you have 10 years experience in one company doesn't uh, mean that somebody else is uh, wanting to hire you at all costs. Grow fixed skin means that you need to be ready to take criticism, um, question yourself and how you present yourself, maybe accepting that after 20 years of going one direction, you need to change, or maybe accepting that uh, you did uh, your studies with great grades, but you have to still learn a lot in a certain other area. So just be ready for that. It's not an easy path, but it's worth it to walk the path. Grow a thick skin is, as I said, accept criticism. Know your competition and confront yourself with the competition in a constructive way. Use common sense. So hard sometimes to use common sense, but it's very, very critical and crucial. And invest in yourself. If you're not willing to invest in yourself, if it's time, energy, money, whatever, um, 
why should a company invest in you? Why should somebody else want to hire you? Yeah. Uh, there are people on the market that invest heavily in their own education or are have much more know-how than you. So um, by using common sense, for me, it's clear why that, that the competition has a better uh, access to the good jobs than me. So I need to compensate somehow. So just to put it down here, grow fix gain, be ready for all these factors. There are, of course, a million more factors just trying to get you in the right mood, uh, mindset there. So your challenge, if you are a very experienced person working since 10 years or 20 years in one company. So let's take this persona, worked in the same company plus 10 years. So you have guaranteed tunnel vision. You uh, know your company, you know what you do in the company, and that's it, basically. No idea about the real market. Tends to overestimate um, himself, herself, salary expectation, whatever. Um, got comfortable, yeah. What you um, currently might um, perceive as uncomfortable is a joke for a startup or people working in a startup. You might be, although much richer in experience, be drastically outperformed by other people using new technology, new tools, and so on. Just be ready with that. Performs mostly bad in new job interviews because the person is biased. So if you worked in a company since 10 years, 15 years, and you have daily Zoom calls and Teams calls, you think that perhaps you can talk in the same way in job interviews. But, you know, different company, different company culture. You're just an applicant out of hundreds and thousands. And just to accept this, oh, Jesus, I'm now basically an applicant. I must sell my value to the guy or to the woman sitting in front of me. This is not easy to accept this and to use the right words, to have the right aura, to have the right, um, let's say, energy uh, and expression. And if you're a fresh market joiner because you just finished your studies or you just uh, finished your first job and want to move on. So you most likely watch too many TikTok get rich videos. It's not working like this in the real world. <laughs> just to, to let you know. Wants to become a millionaire in six months. So guys, have patience, patience, slow down a bit. Um, you know, uh, quality takes time and quality in yourself takes also time. Thinks companies will invite her, him on a daily basis. So this is uh, one of the biggest and most common feedbacks we have. People <laughs> uh, come to Germany or are looking for a job for seven, eight, six months, sometimes a year. And they're surprised that nobody cares. They didn't thought that it will be this way. They thought they get a job immediately. That's not a reality. Very empty CV for fresh joiners. I will explain later what this means. Has the same communication skills as an Instagram reel. Um, grow a thick skin. If you are triggered by this slide, great. Um, that's why I told you before to grow a thick skin. So um, everything must be in the new generation. Everything must be super fast, super short, mostly unprecise. And um, that's, however, not often the case in the application uh, progress, especially in, let's say, more established uh, industries and companies. But we are here to support you, to help you. Um, you will see. So in this presentation, the path is, the general path is very simple. Application, interview. In the interview, normally, the salary is done and dusted, and you start your position and you have a provision period. So in this webinar, I would like to mostly um, focus on the application part. Doesn't take long, maybe 10 minutes, yeah? Okay. So something that many people don't know is that your CV is 90% of the path towards an, towards an interview invite. Many people think it's my cover letter. Many people think it's my email or it's my 20 certificates I will attach. I will let you know right now, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Um, I personally, I am hiring people since seven years. I have not a single time read a cover letter. I have no time to read your cover letters. And now with ChatGPT and other AI tools, cover letter for me died anyway. Yeah. Um, however, some companies still demand it as a minimum requirement. Okay, whatever. Uh, I cannot control this. Yeah, it's crazy. It doesn't make sense. I know, but it is what it is. Sometimes uploading a cover letter is a mandatory field in uh, application software. Um, it is what it is. You still have to do it, but 
in my opinion, nobody has time anymore to read it. Especially in mid-size and smaller size company, forget it. They will not read it at all. And in bigger companies, they might perhaps read it. However, your entrance door to everything is your CV. If you have a bad CV, forget it. If your picture on the CV is bad, forget it. If you have a weird formatting in your CV, forget it. Uh, there will be at least one to 10 competitors that will drastically outperform you in CV presentation and they will win. Even if they have less knowledge, I would take a person with less knowledge but a good CV because it, for me, it shows the person put in effort and gave the CV and with the CV myself value and didn't just throw something against the wall. So your CV is much, much, much more important than you realized and every little detail in your CV counts. However, there is no golden rule. I can just give you my experience and um, the things that we have learned in all our environment and collective know-how, and hopefully it will help you. However, no one thing. You ask 10 people, you get 10 opinions. Yeah. For myself, I can say we have to do with CVs a lot on a business level because we hire and our company is hired based on CVs. So it's um, we have a lot of experience there, real, real experience. Okay. So, um, Focus Europe also. It might be different in the United States. It might be different in Japan. We are focusing here in Europe and especially in Germany. So, you ask 10 people, you get 10 opinions. Here's my take. Short CV is not good. Um, the CV is the only thing that represents you as the entire universe that you are. You are the valuable universe that is happening in your mind. At the end, somebody needs to decide, decide based on a CV. If your CV is one page long, well, you know, I have only one page of material to get to know you in the first step. It's not enough. Yeah. Um, if you have 20 years of experience, a two-page CV is really, really not enough at all. Um, you, it, it means that I can put your entire expertise for two decades on two pages and for me, this is already, okay, mostly a knockout criteria, yeah? I will show you some good ex examples here. However, a CV should not be overloaded with nonsense. So having this balance and uh, knowing which factors matter and which not, this is the, uh, let's say, the golden path you have to walk. And yes, it's not easy, exactly. That's most likely why you didn't find a job yet if you have looked for one. If you have found a job, great, wonderful. Uh, you are successful. <laughs> but I can tell you this is mostly people struggle already at the CV level. So formatting and grammar matters. What I have seen is a drastic decrease in the last year in good formatting. What do I mean with formatting? People using 20 space bars instead of two tabs. If you use a lot of space bars, your letters will have slight variations in their positioning. It's inevitable. And people will see that. People like me, we see that. Um, so I know that you cannot handle Microsoft Word. If you cannot handle Microsoft Word, knock out criteria. You cannot write a single nice document. Yeah. And I have competition or I have other applicants who have better formatting than you. So obviously, they will not fall through this first filter. So check your formatting. It's very important. Don't have too many tabs. Don't have... Um, uh, to few tabs and make sure it's fully aligned with each other. Grammar matters. If you, um, if you in your CV have grammar mistakes repeatedly, maybe you have some typos, one or two typos there. It shouldn't happen, can happen, okay, whatever. But if you have a lot of grammar mistakes and you cannot write a single English sentence correct, it's, of course, a matter and a, um, it's a knockout criteria. It's an immediate knockout criteria. Have that in mind. Relevant information matters, as already said, um, Nobody cares what you did in high school when you are already 35 years old or 40 years old. Nobody cares, yeah? What might be important is that you finished your high school, something like that, yeah? I will show you how I did it and what proved uh, very uh, well for us. Regional know-how verification. This is very, very, very important. Uh, we have currently a lot of people from India, from Southeast Asia, coming to the European market with working visas and being completely surprised that they cannot find a good job, although they have maybe 10 years of industry experience. And the reason is nobody trusts your experience in 
uh, India, Bangladesh, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia. Um, it is what it is. In Germany, there are, for example, in Germany, there are German laws, there are European regulation, German regulation. And if you do not prove that you understand this, it will be a disadvantage for you. Yeah, because there will be other applicants that prove to the um, HR people or to the manager that they already have this industry, regional industry know-how. So regional know-how verification matters. And verification is mostly some kind of certification, some kind of proof of know-how, some kind of coaching program. I don't know. But you can you cannot verify your German know-how, industry know-how, by a Malaysia company or by a, um, I don't know, Argentina company. Or even, even if you stick in Europe by a Poland company, you should verify your regional know-how with a regional source. That's very important. Okay, let's move on. Pictures. <laughs> no picture. Uh, you know, there there are some, there are a lot of uh, rules and best practices and for me, blah, blah, blah. If you have a no picture, you are already in a disadvantage. If you have a bad picture, you are already in a big, big, big disadvantage. You most likely will be excluded straight away. And the reason is not how beautiful you are. Nobody cares how beautiful you are, really. Of course, some other people might discuss this, but from, here is my take. Nobody cares how you actually look like. It's about the effort you have put in. As you can see here, these are your competitors. In Germany, this is a Google search with Bewerbungsbilder, which is application pictures. If I have three CVs on my hand and two have bad selfies, most of the CVs we get are very bad selfies. I just today had a CV where somebody was on a beach and took a selfie and put it on a CV and wants to be compliance manager here. You know, it's an immediate, <laughs> no, wrong mindset. I'm sorry. And if I have one CV with such a picture, it's not about the look. It's about the effort and the professionalism somebody puts in, especially in the area of pharma, life science, med tech, where compliance and love to detail matters. Yeah. So you need to have a highly professional business picture. Yes, not because of how beautiful you are, because the effort you put in. That's what matters. Okay, so um, now I would like to move to some examples. I analyzed some uh, you know, examples I received. Maybe there are people even here that <laughs> submitted these CVs. So um, this is a free um, improvement course for you. So here you can see somebody sent a CV. And uh, here what I um, basically censored was some personal information. Here there was a very unprofessional selfie with a smartphone like this at the beach. That's the beach CV. And um, one thing I want to show you is here. I have the repetition of handling on every single line. So I have handling of particle uh, size test, handling of iron chromatography, handling of high performance, blah, 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 handling of dissolution. So this is already very weird for me. Uh, for me, this already is somebody didn't put enough effort in to actually describe what they do. They just summarized and quantified with handling, 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 handling. Yeah, um, Your competition will do it differently and mostly better. So for me, this uh, CV was already an uh, exclusion factor, especially because of the picture. But uh, when I saw this, I couldn't actually get any value out of it. Uh, just because you handle the device, what does it mean? You could You could press a button. I don't know. Do you understand the subject matter? Do you understand the particle size test? Um, let's say the software that is testing um, the particle sizes. Which software was used at all? Um, did you validate the software? Did you work with another team um, th that uh, worked on different projects with you? These are the things that matter. The real industry skills matter. So in this case, just to show you, um, this was a CV that was immediately excluded by us. Yeah. Another um, CV, very experienced pe person, didn't include the picture. So um, if I have a very nice formatted CV with uh, somebody taking a professional picture and doing everything right, automatically, so subjectively, this person put more effort in. So this uh, CV is more present, basically. And in this CV, there was simply, as you can see, it was 10 pages. That's when uh, the CV is getting too long with a lot of free space, a lot of blank space. I have, I have already, I feel offended kind of by needing to 
jump over a lot of free space because I have 50 CVs I need to go through. So when I see this, I'm like, okay, this person didn't put the extra effort in good formatting. This is not good formatting. This is basically a Word uh, page, just typing something in, putting a line in, starting the next page. Additionally, um, as you can see um, from the entries, for example, so this was a position that was three or four years long. I uh, I just uh, blurred it so nobody can see the details, basically. And here it starts with validation of 250 computer systems. To validate 250 computer systems, you have a thousand people working day and night for four years to do that, basically. <laughs> yeah, Just to give you a number, I highly, highly, highly doubt this person has worked on 250 computer system validations in four years. However, maybe the company did that. Yeah. And I, as a subject matter expert, I know that, well, this is your CV. This is not the CV of the company. So stick to the truth in regards to identify yourself. I'm not here to identify your company. I'm here to understand what you have done. So maybe uh, below, interestingly, the, the person did it. One FDA audit, four, blah, blah, blah. 16 internal CSV and data integrity audits. Yeah, that's the things I want to read, but not how many validation projects your company perform. Yeah, and um, as you also can see here, the uh, let's say the what matters is not only that you validated systems, but which kind of systems. It's a difference if you validate ERP systems uh, like SAP, LIMP systems like, um, I don't know, laboratory device systems, this kind of categorization would have interested me because it shows me if you're specialized in a certain area or not, yeah? So stick to the subject matters, not go to the quantification. 250 is a quantification that has no value for me. Uh, stick, show me a quantification that is related to your subject matter expertise. That's what helps the reader to understand what you have done. I have also um, included... My my CV is six pages long, and I will I am fully transparent, guys. You will never see that again in any webinar. I show you three pages of my uh, own CV. The first thing is when you look at it, it's consistent in its formatting. Um, uh, on the right side, these are my uh, job positions, and they're consistent in the formatting. That means that the reader in a second knows if I see this formatting, it's a job position. It's hardcore industry know-how. So when this breaks, for example, here, the formatting breaks, I know this is a new thing. And this is basically my regular education. My regular education in the industry, after you, you are 30, 40, even mid-20, nobody cares anymore. People are more interested in, okay, what kind of hands-on experience do you have in the industry? That's what matters. So I summarized 13 years here in a quarter of a page. And the other 13 pages are four pages, uh, 13 years are four pages long because that's the information that matters. And, you know, um, the, one of the reactions I get is like, oh, wow, you did a lot. And it's interesting for people to read because every position was different. Every position I did something else with a different software, with a different whatever. And at the end, I, I added special expertise where for every company I added with which software I work. So somebody hiring me or working together with me already is well prepared. Wow, this person has worked with a lot of different infrastructure, a lot of different company networks, um, has worked most likely with a lot of different system owners. So I've seen a lot. And um, it, it's not about me. It's about showing the person how interesting I am. This is the important part, yeah? And um, this is a CV format that proved very well for us. Of course, here on the top, our CV introduction is a bit longer because this is a company CV. In your case, you can basically uh, strike through all of this uh, top down. And um, it's also important that you sometimes when you, for example, if you apply for a job for computer system validation or you apply for a job for a laboratory environment, you need to update your CV without lying, of course. But sometimes you need to focus more on laboratory systems, laboratory um, uh, devices, and sometimes you need to focus more on the project management you did. Yes, and that's totally fine uh, that you focus your CVs on different purposes uh, you basically performed or subject matters you handled. Yeah? 
That's absolutely uh, best practice, actually. However, keep in mind that this must be real experience because latest in the, at the latest point in the interview, people will confront you with the know-how in your CV. Your CV must read like a novel, like a book, and it must be absolutely fluent and wonderful what you present because it's real experience, yeah? All right, okay, I could go on and go on and go on. However, I would like to hand over to Candice because... We, we are getting overwhelmed with a lot of requests, and for that, we have prepared something for you. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much, Ali Reza, for the presentation. Um, what I am going to do now is in the chat, I've put a few things in there um, for you guys. So firstly, some links to Ali's page in LinkedIn for you to go and connect with Ali in there or Ali Reza. Um, and expand your network because that's a really big important part of you being seen by um, potential recruiters or people that might actually be looking to hire you is making sure you've got that network out there. And I've also put some links into the chat for the Zaman uh, page for LinkedIn and the Farm Muni page for LinkedIn, which leads me into um, something that we would really like to put out to everyone today. And that is an offer for you to have a full CV optimization and alternatively, if it was your decision, to have some career coaching to go along with that as well. So what I will do is I will pop a little form in the chat right now for you guys. So I wanted to wait until we had a, a little chat about it before that goes in there. So copy, paste. And we have two offers. So for the first one, anyone who has taken our job interview preparation course in FarmUni on farmuni.com can automatically get um, a CV look over, have it assessed by Ali Reza, the man himself, to um, help to optimize that, to give you um, that uh, push in the right direction. So when you complete the survey, that is option one. The second offer that we would like to present to you is to have that, but also some solid career coaching from our CEO, Ali Reza, specifically, as he mentioned, for the European market, for the German market. Um, and with that, what we're offering is CV optimization, online coaching, um, adding you into our network, helping to promote your profile into the pages that we manage, which is not just the Farm Uni page on LinkedIn, the Zaman page. We also have connections um, through our Farmer Talks and Farmer Jobs communities with over 200,000 other members, with over three and a half million impressions every month. So, really spreading your profile out into the world. And that is our second offer. So I think I'm just going to add this to the stage and add Ali Reza back yeah. in. Thank you very much, Candice. Guys, um, this is this is the cheapest offer we can give you to support you. Um, I really fought hard how we can um, kind of help you without uh, bankrupting ourselves. And um, two offers we can give you is take the take the job qualification, uh, job interview course, sorry, job interview course on Farmuni. With that, you qualify automatically for at least a light level, um, let's say, program, right? Personally, check your CV with our experts. We will have meeting rounds every day where we go CV by CV and you get the right feedback. We will send them back to you and we will make sure you have a consultation call with me to support you finding a new job, understanding the market better, understanding the, uh, let's say, the opportunities, the salary expectations better, and we will, if you want, we will post you in our network where we will for sure have several hundred thousand impressions um, only for your profile to get in touch with the right companies. Yeah. Um, if you are really serious in finding a new job, especially in Germany or in Europe, um, this is as cheap as we can go to help you to invest so much time and energy in the, let's say, qualification program of yours. Yeah. You will have. And basically, we wrote three normally after three rounds. Your CV is mwah, perfect. Uh, back and forth, you will have several calls with us to find the right job orientation for you. What do you really want? Do you even know what you want? Which company segment you want to work? Which industry segment you want to work? Uh, we will post, if you like, we will distribute your profile to our network so uh, recruiters can get um, in touch with you, basically. 
and um, we will give you basically complete assistance for six weeks to hopefully, hopefully, hopefully put you into the right path um, into yeah finding a new job. And I we didn't write new nine thousand eight hundred euro here just for the giggles. Um, everything here cost us around nine thousand eight hundred euro normally. Yeah. Uh, especially the posting, the advertisement posting as a distribution post in our networks. Uh, only this cost over 4,000 euros. So think about it. If you're serious about it, um, you can click on this button here. Candice shared this slide. And I really, really try. We try our best to get you moving to Europe, to Germany, and to get you started. No promises made. I cannot promise you anything. But for me, this is the cheapest and fastest way to get there. And especially we will kind of com uh, combine this with your regional know-how verification as we have seen in the presentation before. So this is a real program. You must take time. You must qualify for this program so that we are willing to invest in you. Yeah. If you have any questions, let us know right now. Thank you. <laughs> we do have a question for a member um, in our community here today. And this is around customization of the CV for a particular job role or um, a particular job description. So I just say you might have a bit of a, a varied background in regards to your experience. If you're applying for a particular role, would you include every every uh, job that you've done or would you um, keep it specifically um, focused on, on that job application? Oh, well, you know, the, it really depends on what, how related the old job was. Um, if if your old uh, job was a mechanics and now you're a computer system validation manager, um, I would maybe keep it as small as possible so we kind of jump over it and everybody forgets it. If it's kind of related to the industry, however, you should um, uh, you should definitely provide some bullet points for the um, job position. Yeah, and normally the more bullet points you have, the better it is but it must fit to the context of your CV. Yeah? If you have a lot of jumps left and right, left and right, left and right in different industries, it's not good. It's a, not a good impression. Another question has come through um, in regards to online tools and creating CVs. Um, do you recommend for people to um, start from scratch um, utilizing uh, tools such as a provider or a coach or um Pre, pre ready made um, uh, tools to create that um, CV? There are by now a million tools out there. There are by now a million coaches out there. I know. Um, I think it really depends on uh, what you want to do. If you want to go to pharma and medtech and life science specific, specifically, you should talk to people that understand the industry. It's very, very important. Otherwise, you're just a number out of a million. Yeah. If you think your coach is suitable for your specific industry because they have industry know-how, that's very important, then stay there. Yeah, uh, you will definitely get help. And of course, you can use online tools. For me, online tools are very tunneling. Uh, so if I want to do something special, I cannot do it. That's why I have created a Microsoft Word file template for myself where I can constantly rework if needed. Yeah, great. We do actually have quite a few uh, more questions, Ali. So if you're happy oh, to... Oh, yeah. No let's go. Let's go, guys. Oh, right. Right. Yeah, let's go. Let's okay. Do, do you have some hints for people who... So thank you, Felix. Um, do you have some hints for people who are about to graduate from university? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it, again, depends if you are from pharma, medtech, life science or not. Um, in general, the biggest, biggest problem currently in the entire industry is Everybody wants you to have industry experience before you join a job. Even the junior guys should be in the best case already experienced five years. Even if you say, I'm coming from the university, they're like, yeah, but do you have industry experience? No. How? Then, you know, it's pretty crazy. Um, that's where if you are from pharma and life science, guys really use pharma only for getting the job qualifications. It's the... It's the regional industry know-how verification you need. It's why we, why this platform was created, to open this know-how verification. Um, this is my tip. Verify that you have already some kind of industry know-how. If you are a student and you apply to a student uh, or to a junior role for basically job uh, newcomers, just you by having this extra certification puts you on the top 2% already. 
because most of the other students will not have it. They just have their bachelor or master. So definitely look that you get industry-focused uh, certification and verification. And for pharma and life science, it's mainly about GMP and the industry around GMP. And for that, use farm money because all other tools are too expensive. Uh, every other pharma course costs you over 1,000 euro per day for one course, one little certificate. It's way too expensive. In Farmony, a whole job qualification program costs you three, 400 euros. You will not get it anywhere cheaper. So it's made for students. That's my tip. Yeah. Uh, another question we do have is in regards to language. So is the German language uh, mandatory for the pharma industry in well, Germany in particular or the Dutch region? Yes, guys, in Germany, the German language matters. If you are working for big companies like Big Pharma, um, the um, language hurdle is lower. So most companies accept English only if they are uh, operating on a global scale. However, I can tell you from my own experience, 75% of the jobs you have to exclude because they are German mandatory. The documents are written in German. Your colleagues cannot speak English sometimes. It's an old little company and so on and so on. So especially for the German market, which can be a great market, a great, you know, secured um, life giver, basically, uh, you need to consider a lot of little things that you might not need to do in the US or in France or in Italy. So yes, the German language matters. However, there are positions where English only works. And I think this uh, will be the last question for today. However, we do have um, some great comments. So before I jump into the comments, um, uh, someone here, uh, Sandeep, agrees that uh, the CV should be like a novel, but um, people and companies are often asking or recommending no more than two or three pages in your CV. And I think that's really depends on the industry and the job that you're going for. Like if you have a very uh, technical role with a lot of experience, put it all in there. And um, someone would like to understand the hiring process in Europe, which I think would be a great, um, our next great webinar, which we would happily dive into for everyone for Farm Uni. And the last question for today is, what certifications do I need? Um, I, I submit my CV, but it gets rejected in the same day. Well, you know, there could be a million variables why this happens. Um, it could be you have a very low quality picture. And as I told you, you're excluded immediately because you don't even put the effort in to put a good picture in of yourself. Uh, you have bad formatting, so you cannot control Microsoft Word. Direct exclusion. Yeah, there can be a million factors. If you are get fast rejections, you have a fundamental problem in your CV and you cannot recognize this. Maybe you lack experience or you... You don't know what to look for. That's exactly why you need the external support sometimes. Yeah, can be a million reasons. I have to really look and see. I'm pretty sure if I have a look in five seconds, I can tell you. Yeah. I think that would be a perfect candidate for our CV optimization or our career coaching. Um, so to wind that up today, I would firstly like to thank Ali Reza. Thank you so much for your time today, for your insights and your valuable input to help um, people in our community to get a step ahead. Mm -hmm. I've popped the link to our um, offer that we have in there. And all you need to do is go into the comments, fill in the Google form, and then we will be in contact with you and take the next steps with you. I've also put the links in there for Farm Uni and the Zaman LinkedIn page, as well as the LinkedIn page for Ali Reza as well. And the last thing that I would love to link in here today is a feedback form because you know, we only improve if we're uh, given feedback and in the industry, the focus on continuous improvement <laughs> is always at the center of everything we do. So guys, thank please help us. Yeah. Press the links, press the links, press the form. If you have still questions and we couldn't answer them, then go to the feedback form and put in your questions there. Yeah, um, we are timely limited uh, to not overblow the webinars. But please, please, please uh, stay in touch with us and uh, keep rolling, yeah? And if you are really serious, let's go with the program and let's find you a job, yeah? It costs money. I'm sorry because we have to pay for all the stuff as well. But we are right now at a really below zero line for you. We cannot go lower. It's already hurting us. So let's get it done.
Well, thank you very much, everyone. If we do have some extra uh, questions that were in the chat, I'll answer them after we end the live so that we can give you some information about that. And what we'll also do is publish a bit of a Q&A PDF for everyone in the next coming days so that you can uh, go through some of the questions that we had today. And also there'll be some hints and tips and valuable information in there for you. So please uh, fill in the forms, come and join us on LinkedIn, connect with us. We would love to hear from you. Fill in the form to get the summary. It's very important. Yeah. Have a great day. Have a great day.